For showrunners, you spoke to incredible names in the industry, and a lot of them said they had a compulsion to do it, even though at times they lacked sleep, it interfered with personal relationships, mm -hmm. but they kept going and they almost couldn't stop. What do you think was the reason? Is that something that's a statement about sort of the creative process that people don't want to let go of things no matter what it's costing them because they're so enthralled with the outcome? Um, I think it's a function of the, the job as well to a certain extent. I mean, y y y you kind of have to work those hours because you're on a schedule and you're on a budget and you have to deliver an episode to air at a given date. If you don't do that, that costs it can end up costing millions of dollars, it can throw the whole network schedule into disarray. So um, it's a combination of they want to do the best work that they can possibly do, so everything is kind of given as much time and attention as it possibly can be, but it's also a function of just we have to produce a show, you know, um, which is the great mix between art and commerce that they, they're constantly kind of you know battling against, I think, a little bit. Anything to add? like being a parent isn't it you know um uh, they're they're under immense pressure from all sides and it's like you know you get these plates spinning at a certain rate and if you drop one they all fall so i, th I feel like there's the a degree of that where th they have to keep going like sharks though if they stop swimming they'll die um to some extent not to compare them to sharks but you know um i, I think that once you get entrenched into this uh, methodology in this type of uh, work environment that it's very hard to t take yourself out of it uh, and relinquish that um, no, I wouldn't say control but relinquish the the relinquish the control because who else is going to do it better than you are uh, when you you have created this cohesive vision for uh, this piece of effectively corporate art that has to be on time and you know uh, and requires the immense uh, effort and, and talents of hundreds and you know, sometimes thousands of people. Uh, it's a lot to manage, so you've got to stay on top of it all. One of your showrunners mentioned there's a 100% burnout rate, yeah. that people in their early to mid-50s eventually say, no, I'm done. What do you think is the personality type that's attracted to this? Not just the creative person. Everybody comes here armed with a script and their life story, and they think, oh, this is going to be it. But it takes a lot to really maintain, what, 15-hour days, sometimes seven days a week? Yeah, I, I, th I think you have to be pretty driven. Um, I think you have to be not afraid to piss, I, I don't know if I can say that or not, oh, but to, to piss people off. Um, because it's very important that you come in and be very clear about this is my show, this is the way we're going to do things. You have answers for people when they ask you questions. It's very important to have answers and to be making decisions all the time and people need to you know, be convinced that what you're telling them is the right way to go. So you need to be very you know, you need to be very certain in your own vision of, of, of a show when you're starting off and very driven with it. So for people who, who might be, want to be people pleasers maybe a little bit and want to get on with everybody, mm -hmm. I think that's a much harder sell to be a showrunner with that kind of personality type. You need to be not afraid to kind of annoy people to get what you want out of them, you know. So I, th I think that's definitely one of the traits anyway.